Hey yo, this is Marsha Montana HD and you're watching Montreality. You heard? Hey! I mean Marsha Montano is a soca artist from Trinidad and Tobago, been in the music business for 30 years. Started at a very young age as you can see. And um, you know my mission is to take our music, our culture to the corners of the globe. We've been touring worldwide since I was nine. Um, you know we've been working with a lot of different artists and right now we're working with some major players. Producers of Black Eyed Peas, Pitbulls producers, we're working with a lot of people to internationalize our sound. So look out for the new version of soca music coming your way. Um, in classroom, I was always very studious. You know, somebody who would get there and focus on school. You know, I was never in school to play. Never had much friends because I was a musician. So um, I like music, and and part of my duty was to get through schoolwork to get to music. So I didn't play around in school. I was always serious, always on the on the mission, and you know, kind of pretty much in a straight line. Not a bad or misbehaved student. Um, I only had one job in my life and I was a sound engineer for maybe like a year. You know, I came fresh out of engineering school and I went to make commercials for KFC and 7up uh, and, and, and Coca-Cola and these things. Um, and it only lasted a year. After that year, I, I quit my job and I went on to own my own studio. First big paycheck was uh, when I performed in Madison Square Garden in 1984. And the first thing I bought was a Yamaha DX7 keyboard play. Keyboard to play. Yeah, one of the best in the world at that time. It was 1600 US dollars in 1984. That was mad money. <laughs> the key to success is hard work. You know, you gotta work hard. Nothing's gonna come easy. Um, you're gonna be challenged and you have to see tr yourself through the challenges. You know, you have to know that every time you, you, you get to uh, one goal or get through one goal, you have to set another, you have to keep climbing and every time you feel like it's too hard, you must know that you're getting higher up the mountain. The steep up the mountains, the harder the climb. You just have to keep going, you know? Um, between a rock and a star. You know, sometimes people say you're between a rock and a hard place. But you know, I've, I've, I've seen myself, you know, as a rock star in soca music, but I think um, somewhere between that rock and that star. And that means, you know, keeping your foot on the planet, keeping your foot on the earth, but yet being somewhere out there in the, in the universe aiming for the stars, you know. In a previous lifetime, I could have been a spiritual healer. You know, and, and, and I'm back now to just use music to do it, you know what I'm saying? Um, besides making music, I think I'm talented in um, sports a little bit. I play a little bit of football, a little bit of basketball, but I try to keep that uh, minimal because I don't want to damage my limbs too much. I want to make sure I can get up on stage and dance and whine and jump and wave. Um, but I'm also very talented in um, troubleshooting and figuring out problems of any kind. You know, I can sit down and work it out. Yeah. Uh, my biggest fear is God, you know, you have the fear of God and you respect Him always, you know, and that's what's going to keep you on ground. Um, you know, I think my skin is like, this is my temple, you know, my body is my temple, and, and if I was to put a tattoo on there, you know, it would have to be something that really is meaningful to me in that way, and, and, and it must symbolize something in my life, you know, so I, I don't think I've been at that point yet where, you know, I, I want to put anything on the temple walls yet. Bob Marley. <laughs> Get him for me. <laughs> I would love to work with Bob Marley right now, Michael Jackson right now. You know, but um, there are a lot of people out there that I think that, you know, they, they're going to be seeing Marshmallows and working with them soon. My last meal, wow. Hmm, that might be a strange combination. It might have some curry in it, it might have some Creole, it might have a steak. You know, I think I'll mix it up. Yeah. Favorite superhero would have to be Spider-Man, you know what I mean? Just, just his swag and, and he, I think he got the coolest uniform. I mean, just our tour is crazy, you know? Our entire tour is crazy. We be missing flights, we be flying from city to city. Right now we go on stage and as soon as we come off stage, we head to the airport, we head to New York. I mean, the kind of things that go on, you know, with, with us, what happens behind the scenes, stay behind the scenes. Um, you know, I would, would like it to say, you know, here's Marsha Montano. He loved love and he spread love and, you know, he, he brought joy to people's hearts. Thank you very much.